Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying JoJo's. This is guilt-free chocolate. I have the original. I have peanut butter delight and goes Hawaiian. These were $4.98 at Walmart, $4.98, and it is a 3.9 ounce bag. This one is at least. Um, this is the original. Kicks the craving. Yes, kick the craving. 70% dark chocolate, pistachios, almonds, and cranberries are in this uh, original. It's 2.5 grams of sugar per bite. Added protein, gluten-free, soy-free. These were actually in the candy aisle at Walmart, and I had uh, just never noticed them before. So I thought, you know what? That's something different to try. They're nice squares, yeah. nice blocks of chocolate, and you can see the um, the uh, cranberries, almonds, and pistachios. They are uh, three bites is 180 calories. Not bad. It feels like a, a hard chocolate. Is it like crunchy? Mm-hmm. It's a darker chocolate. Mm-hmm. Well, the first ingredient, dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. You know what though? I like I, that. I like it. Mm -hmm. I think I got um, you got more nuts than I did the cranberry. You I did. would have preferred the cranberry over well, the Well, when nuts. I took the bite out of the square, I took all the cranberries. Mm -hmm. So all the cranberries were at one end. Yeah, and almost every one of these is the same thing. So what I got in my bite is different than what Kevin got. Yeah. I got... Um, the the flavor of the dark chocolate but then i also got the chew from the cranberries and they add a little bit of sweetness and tartness to it i really liked it mm. that was all bitter chocolate oh. <laughs> it's still good though i still like it it is a very drying dark chocolate but it's a good dark chocolate i like the quality of it this you is, can never say dark chocolate smooth so i'm not gonna say it's smooth no. it's not but it, it is good it had a nice snap to it mm -hmm. yeah uh, this is also dark chocolate, 70% dark chocolate, but it's also, it's called Peanut Butter Delight. So it has peanuts and sea salt, and it's two grams of sugar. It is 190 calories for three bites. I like how thick they are. And we're all, we're both going to get the same uh, looking bite because they, they're just covered with peanuts. So it won't matter if I take the first bite. This smells like, um, um, what's those cones you get? Um, uh, drumstick. Drumstick. It smells like those peanuts on top of drumsticks. Mm -hmm. mm, that's what peanut butter on the inside. It's much softer. Yeah, it's got something in the middle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, peanut butter filled. Mm -hmm. These are Beautiful made. Salt. These are made in Canada for JoJo's chocolate, which is in Utah. But they're actually made in Canada. So the, whatever factory they got to make them. Yes. And it's jojoschocolate.com. I like it too. The, um, honestly, I can, the, I get the texture of the peanut butter on the inside. So it's creamy, it's smooth. But really, I think where most of the peanut flavor is coming from is from the peanuts top on the thing. top. Yeah. Um, I get a little bit of the peanut butter flavor. For some bit. reason, the chocolate seemed even darker to me in this than in that. And I th you're going to disagree, I know. But um, we got different bites in the I think box. it's about basically the same. But. I'm sure it's the exact same chocolate. But it just came across as darker for me in this one. Yeah, probably because you had the... The, the, the uh, cranberry. Cranberry to help balance mm -hmm. a little That's bit. That's what I'm I thinking. <laughs> right. That's what I'm thinking. So it's, it's pretty dark chocolate. It's a dark chocolate. But I like it. And I really like it with the peanut butter. So this is called Ghost Hawaiian. This one has zero grams of sugar. It's coconut. So Ghost Hawaiian, dark chocolate, coconut, sea salt, and macadamia, macadamia. nuts. And these are 150 calories for three bites. So this is the lowest of the three. I picked the one that had macadamia nuts on both sides. Mm. Are those filled with anything? Because they mm -hmm. seem softer. Mm -hmm. They're mm. not filled, but they do seem soft. They, they seem softer than the first one, at least. I like that coconut. The first one was a, a, literally a crisp block of chocolate. Mm -hmm. The second one, since it was filled with peanut butter, 
it was creaming. And this one seems like it's filled with something, but it's not. Or it doesn't say it is. But it's a it's a a softer chocolate. This is definitely my favorite one. Yeah, oh yeah, the coconut one. Because and then I would do the peanut butter after that. No, it's not filled with it. I would too. It's just um this um this I think is um it just has a really nice texture. It's easy to eat, and if you like coconut, the coconut adds some sweetness to it. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't really get the macadamia nuts. I it, didn't either. It might have affected the flavor a little bit, but I don't I didn't really taste it as a standout flavor. I didn't either. It yeah. tastes like dark chocolate and coconut mm -hmm. is what it tastes but like. It's good, good texture and everything. Mm -hmm. So if this, if, if you need to watch your sugar, uh, watch uh, your eating and you want to stick with dark chocolate, I think these are really good mm -hmm. quality. Yeah, um, I do too. They are five dollars, and there are three and a half servings in the bag. It's not something if you're watching your sugar, you're not going to eat a lot of it anyway. And it does say on the bag too, keep cool to last longer. So, I, like I said, I found them in the candy aisle on the regular shelf. I've had them here stored on a regular shelf. But once you've opened them, I would suggest put them in the refrigerator, and it'll probably give them a nice texture too, being in the refrigerator. Cold, cool yeah. on your tongue. Yeah. So I will have a picture for you at the end, and thanks for watching.